We are inviting all active duty troops and veterans to march in formation with us. We will gather at noon on President's Day, February 20th at the base of the Washington Monument and march to the White House. Platoon, halt, lift, face. We will then, in a symbolic gesture, turn our backs on the president. About face. And then, facing away from the president, present arms. And we will render a hand salute facing a folded flag, a folded American flag as is draped over the coffins of so many Americans, facing a gathering of family members of the troops. And we will hold it for as many seconds as they have died, as troops have died under the presidency of Barack Obama. Order arms! And we will march silently away to carry on the fight for the message of Ron Paul, because this message we'll defend. We've already got the Facebook page for this event. And I implore you all to help promote it, get the word out, make videos, tell your friends, get that veteran that you know who's just waiting for an opportunity, the chance to speak out and have their voice heard. For far too long, the voice of the troops has been kept from the American political dialogue. But not anymore. You want to support the troops? It's time to start listening to them. By the way, I'm getting really sick and tired of having smoke blown up my butt by people who think that thanking a veteran for their service somehow excuses them for being sorry excuses for Americans. And every time someone thanks me for my service, I'm quick to point out that by speaking out against the wars, by supporting Ron Paul, by being a champion of the Constitution, I am able to be a far greater service to my country than anything I was ever able to do in uniform. And I know that right here in this very room, we have a group of people who have done more for freedom and the Constitution and the American way than most of the troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. So for all of you who donated to the Ron Paul campaign, for all of you who waved signs, for all of you who made YouTube videos, for all of you who back last time threw snowballs. <laughs> For all you spammers in your parents' basements. For all of you who wrote letters to the editor, registered new Republicans, knocked on doors, made phone calls, rode your bike across the country, started that website and wrote that song. Thank you for your service. <laughs> to the revolutionaries. And now finally, would all the uh, veterans and active duty service members here tonight raise your hand, please.
That's right. The Lovolution celebrates people who are willing to put their lives on the line for what they believe in. And I'm not here to blow smoke up your butt about anything you ever did in uniform, but I want to thank you for being with us today and having the courage to stand with Ron Paul. So to all of you out there who want to thank us for our service, who want to honor us for having put our lives in the line to defend this country and realize that our government would rather abuse that good faith than do anything to actually defend this country, it's time to help us do something about it. I'll see you in Washington, D.C. on President's Day.